Your completed vaccine card could be your ticket into restaurants, bars and other events. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're digging into a new state rule that says fully vaccinated people don't count against a venue's COVID-19 capacity. CBS News Chairman Lena Live in River North Terre, the city of Chicago is considering that new rule too. Brad and Erica, it's still under review here in Chicago, but it is in effect across the state. Today, we got in touch with a group that owns restaurants both in and out of the city about the position this rule puts them in and how it could affect you. A completed one of these could be your ticket to a seat at an event, table or bar. With this update from the governor's office, according to the new rule, anyone with proof of full vaccination prior to an event or outing doesn't count against the COVID-19 related capacity limits still in place across the state. Well, it's getting a little confusing. Yeah, That's Steve Hartenstein of Stefani Restaurant Group's take on this. In effect right now statewide, but still under review here in Chicago. How do you have the time to ask and how do you, is it intrusive to ask somebody, so if you've been vaccinated, show me. And with so many unanswered questions, he told me they haven't implemented any big changes in their restaurants outside of the city yet. What happens if it's a mixed table? What if one of us was fully vaccinated and one of us wasn't? It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. We reached out to see if the state is sharing any guidance on this with business owners. Anything we can do to get more open, um, it is great. A spokesperson for the governor's office told us businesses will need to ask to see proof of vaccination from customers. If they're not comfortable doing that, they can just continue to operate with current capacity limits. I asked the mayor's office and the city's business affairs office when we could see this rule take effect and be implemented here in Chicago. All they'll say right now is they're still reviewing these recent updates from the governor's office. OK, so nothing hard fast yet. Well, Tara, we know the city and state health departments have been a big part of guideline changes in the past. So what are they saying about all of this? Absolutely, Erica, we, we reached out to the local health department and the state health department. We're still waiting to hear back on those requests tonight, but we do know that the CDC has just come out with a recommendation that even for those who've recently been vaccinated, they should only gather in small groups. So it leaves a lot of questions still lingering out there tonight. All right. Reporting live in River North, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tara.